Tonight, we're learning troubling new statistics about boys and men in Washington state. Those stats include incarceration rates, overdose deaths, and homelessness. These figures are overwhelmingly led by the male population, and now the Washington legislature is proposing new legislation to find out why. New at 5 tonight, KXLY's Jordan Smith spoke with a bill's author to learn more about what prompted this proposal and what solutions may be available. Well, Kirsten, today I spoke with the House Representative Mary Dye, who is the author of Bill 1270 here. And this bill is designed to shed a little bit more light on these issues affecting the male population here in Washington and to prompt immediate solutions. There's a troubling trend happening in the Evergreen State. In Washington, males account for 63% of the homeless population, 67% of overdose deaths, 88% of the incarcerated population in county, city, or tribal jails, and 94% of the incarcerated population in Department of Corrections facilities. The question being, how are these statistics so disproportionately dominated by males? House Bill 1270 hopes to address exactly that. It seems to me we really need an institutional focal, focal point to really start evaluating why these data points are what they are. Representative Mary Dye is the author of this bill. Should it pass, it will fund a committee to research the root causes behind these male-dominated figures. Though, according to therapist and author Michael Gurian, a large factor stems from what he calls the abandonment of male development. Boys need a certain kind of development to, to turn out well. What we're ending up with is we have boys who are traumatized, we have boys who are addicted, we have boys who are, um, you know, so severely connected to media and digital that they can't get free and they can't fully develop. A huge factor of that involves attachment disorders, particularly in single parent households. The loss of the father, right? That that definitely is uh, what we call loss of father attachment. That causes trauma. The issue is not the mom, it's the loss of that developmental piece that males need. James Bureau can attest to that, whose life is back on track after battling drug addiction and homelessness. At first I was living in my car, which was hard to do. Uh, and then I ended up losing my car, having it parked in the wrong place and started camping, then it got really cold. You know, I, did, I grew up without a dad. You know, uh, just not a very good grow, uh, childhood. Bureau tells me many of the people living on the street share a similar backstory, feeling isolated early on. And so since we're learning about these problems uh, within the homeless population, within these men growing up, this legislation helps bring attention to the necessary solutions to follow through and get help for these men and boys who are struggling. Dr. Gurian suggests a few solutions like investing in education and mental health opportunities for boys. Coming up at 6, we'll hear more about these solutions and when we could expect to see them be implemented.